Hello my friends, my name is Andre and um, I have a new tutorial. It's a cheap trick, not for the Octatrack today, it's for the Mono Machine. It's another uh, fine machine from Electron and I didn't get my head around the arpeggiator. So I just um, looked at the internet and did found what I was looking for and then I looked at the manual and I found at least some tips there. And this combined with um, the clever guys at Electronauts, for example, I found my way, my head around how to use the arpeggiator. So let's start. Um, maybe um, you do the same like me and start with a, f with a fresh um, kit. You can do this by editing your machine and then pressing function and clear. And then you have a clear machine. It doesn't matter at this time what machine you choose. It's, it's up to you. So I take this sign sign machine and um, basically I start with the arpeggiator. The first thing you do is function and arp and then you have the the arpeggiator on track one I, that I start. And on the level knob you can adjust the steps of the arp. So if you push it to the right it gets 16 steps or 8 on the, on the default. If you do something wrong, you can always go back to the start by pressing function and clear. And so the arpeggiator is back to normal mode. First um, thing is clear, it's the speed. The, the number 6 is uh, similar to 16th notes um, and number 12, for example, is similar to 8th um, eight, eight notes. And then there are there are three modes on the Mono Machine arpeggiator. The first one is off, so there's no arpeggiator. Second one is key. Third is sit. And third one is add. So key is basically you press some keys and then the R plays. Um, on sit you can play chords and um, you can add um, chords, uh, you can add notes to the chords and on the on the add, you can always add new tones. It doesn't matter too much which you choose. I start with with the with the key, and um, I show it. The best thing is, as always, try it by yourself and um, find out what you like. So the first thing that you have to know is if you have the arpeggiator window open, you can you can't use the the keyboard anymore. So if you haven't a uh, external keyboard connected to the mono machine you can press function and now you can use the the um, the uh, buttons on the mono machine so if, if I press one button here the C you see it just plays this node very fast if, if I choose 12 for example you get eight notes one two three very good and now comes the cool part. If you um, press different notes, you get a real arpeggiator feeling. So now the arpeggiator moves between the three notes that you press. Okay, this gives a good start. I go back to the eight steps to the basic. And let's start. So the the difference, as you saw, is if you if you um, play the key mode and you press some notes down, it plays. And if if you release the the keys, the arpeggiator stops. And that's the main difference to the to the sit mode. If you here um, press a chord. And you can leave your head, uh, hands off and it still plays. Very good for finding a good spot. And on the add, the add mode, you can even add more notes to the chords you already pressed. So I have a chord with three notes. Okay. Pressed. And then you can add notes to the chord. OK, 
Okay, that's the first thing. You you have to you really have to think in um, chords if you use the arpeggiator on the mono machine. Then there's um, also the typical play types: true, up, down, cycle, and random. I think that's self explanatory. Self explaining. And then you have the octave, so you can jump between octaves. And you see, it jumps to another octave after the chord. So I have played three tones and then it changed the octave. And with direct jump, with this, um, you can um, change this value to get some variation. Okay, good. So what happens if you want to program it? I did, didn't found a easy way. The, the best way is maybe to use an external keyboard, but you can also program it with the trick buttons. So if I start here and have the arpeggiator on, I have only one note. So basically it but now comes the fun part if I have my note here you can press the button and then you can assign a different note of course start with a D and then if you still press the button and go down on the arrow and then on the left or right you can add notes this is typically used if you are in um, poly mode to play chords but if you use the arpeggiator it helps you to get um, arpeggiator patterns programmed okay cool and now I can extend um, the length of my arp to 16 steps and um, this is only visible if if I change the speed to six, of course, if I have 16 notes. And now comes the fun part, I can program a pattern in. The cool thing is, it's something like an, um, a sequencer inside the sequencer. You can even press notes and shift them. There's the offset setting. Press the up tone. And down. Maybe choose another machine. sound maybe and I changed the R back to six to eight notes so this is a bass pattern very basic of course So add delay if you want. Okay, that's very basic. You can all also, of course, um, change the root note. If I extend my pattern to 64 steps. to the third page and just adjust the root note from D to a G maybe. The cool thing on the mono machine is you can also do this with drums. So I use the 
next track, second track, and I look for the B box. So that's the drum machine on the mono machine. Listen to it. And now I can start mangling with the same technique. I can start the arpeggiator, maybe put them to speed 12. And let's see, now add some notes. Mm -hmm. Go into edit mode, and then I have the first key pressed. Let's see. And now I add some random notes, and let's see how it sounds. Turn off first track to just hear the second track, the drum track. Something going on. Ah, I put it on the wrong page. And I do it again on the first page. So. D3, okay, now add some notes. And let's see what happens. Okay, and now you can start mangling around on the arpeggiator. Disable notes here. Okay, and you can now together with the bass bass line. So go to the drum track and to another page, just add, add another trick. Copy this track, go to page 3, paste it, and now I'll just offset the note to have something like a break. By adding some notes you can really get your pattern in another direction.
and so on. You get the idea, you can just play around with all the settings and um, yeah, that's just a brief overview of the use of the arpeggiator on the mono machine. I hope it was somehow inspiring. Not everything was right, maybe, but take a look at the manual at the internet and start to use your machine on your own, to your own flavor. That's um, the key, I guess, to learn the ARP and this the rest of this beautiful machine. Thanks for watching.